Good morning dear students. Today we will study chapter 9 of life skills, responsibilities, rights and duties. Value of the chapter is whatever happens take responsibility. My dear students, in this lesson we will understand the importance of public property. Public properties like parks, hospitals, roads and railway stations etc. are for public welfare. They provide comfort and convenience to the public. Some public properties like historical monuments showcase the glorious history of the country. They are the pride of the nation. Maintaining the public property is the duty and responsibility of every citizen. My dear students, in these pictures you can see a badly littered park, a historical monument that has been scribbled on and a running water tap. All these are actions of irresponsible citizens who spoil public property. You must have seen that some people threw toffee and other food wrappers and papers from the windows of moving vehicles. Some miscreants have the habit of Tearing the seats in trains and buses. Some even remove the fans from trains. Please remember, we think public property is government property. No, public property is our property. We are the public. My dear children, do you know when we destroy any public property, we are destroying our own property. We are wasting our own money. So my dear children, you have learned that one should take care of the public property as it belongs to every citizen of the nation. So here are some points which we must keep in our mind while visiting a public place or a site. First thing, we should keep the public property and its surroundings clean. As a good citizen of a nation, we should not destroy it. Rather, we should keep it safe. We should also follow the instructions written on the site. Throw the waste material into the dustbin. Dear students, we should not deface the public property by writing or making drawings on the walls of a monument. So, we have learned that we all must respect the public property.